I took down every other Blueberry fan to do it. I'm not sharing my fandom with anybody. You're that's toxic, girl. Just letting you know, girly pop. That's not great. Oh my god! <laughs> Always lose. Hey, what up, all you hungry wolves out there? I am honored, excited, and hyped to be playing uh, Terry Bogard content in Street Fighter 6. It's, uh, it's kind of surreal, honestly. And unlike some channels um, that are just content with doing the arcade mode for Terry, we are doing all of Terry's world tour quest line because I'm so excited to see what it is. Tons of Fatal uh, Fury references have already kind of been spoiled on uh, on Twitter. So, oh, wow, that was almost in that just happened. Knockout Festival, it's time to hit the streets. KOF is underway. The top finishers will be invited to go to Pow Pow Cafe. You might want to go home and rest up until the day of the festival. This just happened. So, uh, the way that uh, I understand that this happens is well, look at these dorks. I believe you need to already be reused student on Fateful Day Man. You'll be able to switch out to particular dates, blah, blah, blah. So Terry gets his own like event. So you you only interact with Terry as your master here. So it's very, very, uh, uh, oh! <laughs> the fucking Neo Geo CD loading screen. Shut up. Let's go. Uh, so yeah, you do need to be reuse uh, apprentice. Uh, you need to be training under him to at least get his uh, martial arts style. You don't have to fully max him out, I don't believe. But once you've done that in standard world tour mode, then you get this invite to the knockout festival, aka KOF. Is that Franco Bash? Is that cosplaying Franco Bash? Is that Tug Furu? All right, Alice. Alice is still here. So it's been a while since I played World Tour mode. Um, God, and it's stuck on modern controls, I think. I'm not fighting today. I'm just here to cheer on Thrasher. Thrasher needs a support system. We got to get rid of that punk guest that's coming to Metro City. <laughs> What's Thrasher? Hey, I guess the bad gear are going to have to show uh, our out-of-town friends just how things work in Metro City. And you're, you're Flanko. Why is it so small? Franco Bash is massive. What the, this guy's around the same size as Franco Bash himself. I, they're just straight up saying him. This is already crazy. Yeah, Franco Bash, like SNK doesn't remember Franco Bash. Welcome to KOF. I'll be, oh, hey, you made it after all, Magar. Yeah, Magar. Mr. Magar, if you're nasty. I am missing something this cool. Not my life. I could totally picture you saying something like that. I would. I would. That's literally why I'm here today. I'm helping out with the festival today, so I'm not an active participant. I think my bros are around somewhere close by. Making sure participants stay within the event area. Oh, yeah. You're two annoying brothers. Uh, first of all, participants need to wear this cap if they want to take part of the festival. Aw, oh, it's not a Terry cap. It's KOF, though. It's close enough. So I'm going to give it a try. Once your cap is ready, you're going to be ready for the instructions. My pink gloves are look really cool and stylish. Shut up. But it's also because they have pretty good stats. Okay. KO, KOF event cap is on. All right. So I have to fight other people wearing the baseball cap. And that will count for three wins. And I can go to Pow Pow Cafe and get drunk. Okay. He has the blue cap. Ron, Ron Shutan. It seems most are like they make a name for themselves. Me, nah, I'm not looking for that kind of glory. I'm more happy if I can just get a picture with some of them. Same, bro. That's the best tongue for Rue they could have done. Just at least give him a beard. But yeah, these are just essentially cosplayers or people that just so happen to be really similar. Oh my god. Yeah, Kami and Zangief. What a what a delicious combo. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take me a little bit. I even forget how to even do supers in in modern controls. Like for when I reach, whoa, oh, wowzers! 
Oh my god, it's the cutscene from... Here we go, holy shit, he's already here! Every everyone, tighten your sphincters! Such a cool reference. Like, he's right there in front of you, Terry. You don't need to look at the TV. This is gonna be fun. Whoa! You can cut the sexual tension with a knife here. Get out of the way! That kind of sounds like the opening theme of King Nothing from Metallica. All right, all right. So I've embarrassed myself in second one. But you can't do much about Johnny World Tour. He's always going to get his ass kicked by the mas by whatever master characters. Nice. So he's demonstrating that he could have literally murdered me in any second. So, am I? I don't think I am, dude. I'm on stuck on modern controls. I don't know how to do this shit. Okay. Drinks are on him. Yeah. Hell yeah. It just walks away like nothing happened. It was the greatest day of my life, but for him it was like Friday. Hold on. Oh, Rudra's here? Joe, Duck Queen, and Mr. Maximum! Holy shit! Hi! Oh my god, he's the two of us against you. Hope you're for a handicap match! Okay. Michael Max actually being referenced is crazy. I think in um, my Fatal Fury tier list video, I was like, Michael Max is like at the bottom. He, he gets he gets literally nothing. He's just a super generic boxer. So like the fact that Capcom is like, yeah, no, we want Michael Max reference. That's sick. Oh yeah, so Duck King, Duck Queen, sorry. Thank you, Zangief. Duck Queen he being here is just using Blanca's moveset, which makes sense. Oh. Oh. All right, that one, that one, pretty good. It's like you're just laughing off screen. Ooh. Pun strength boost. I might try those on. Darn it! I wanted to meet that handsome fighter. I'm right here. Hey. All right, Alice. I beat everyone. I beat every single person. That was something else, Magar. Perfect timing, too. It seems all of our winners have been decided to begin the award ceremony. What, I won already? I thought I'd have to do, like, more fights or something. Oh, my God. Thrasher and, and uh, Rudra. Winners of the KOF are three fighters here. It's like teams. Team of three. Magar's like, I finally made it. One day, I'm going to kiss Terry Bogard hard on the mouth. They'll be giving tickets to Pow Pow Cafe as their new reward. I need a plane ticket? Congratulations on a job well done. I thought the Pow Pow Cafe was a new location opening up in Metro City. Uh, for me, Alice, and the rest of the organizers, thank you everyone for coming to KOF. But we know you'll be back. What? Senkaku Mozi... Mozi... Uh, mo... Chizuki, come Raijin. Didn't work again. What a what a fucking reference. Might as well just fight her. She's level 49, so that's higher than mostly everyone else at this uh, at this KOF festival. Ow. She's not playing around this one. Get out of here though. It's Magar's time. As cool as a reference you are. Ooh, we got the the basket at. All right, sure. I ranked up JP style, whatever. Uh, maybe we can we actually go to Pow Pow Cafe now? Yes, we can. So yeah, everything else is locked, uh, which is fine. But there's a third location too, so we'll see. 
Baba Cafe 6 takes the Chinese ambiance in the first location and gives it a modern spin. Because Pao Pao Cafe in Southtown to me is always very, um, uh, like Caribbean feeling. It had like a lot of like trees and things. Maybe not uh, Caribbean, but Brazilian, like more, more, you know, tropical. Oh shit. It's the cutscene against Lao. Fucking Lao. No. If. If Michael Max is the most obscure, maybe Lau is, but Lau is in more games than Michael Max. Can't believe it. Kick his ass, Terry. Oh! At least he knows to block. What a great shot. <laughs> Everyone's so in love with him. Oh! Get okay. He's definitely more boyish looking. I made the thing that he kind of looks like Dennis the Menace a little bit. Look at that Blue Mary right there. But we're not advocating for Hot Topic. We're not, we're not saying that. Oh my god. Terry's like, I'm not fighting these cosplayers. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, he, he looks he looks better with the hat on, in all honesty. His eyes are a little overdone, I think. But yeah, I'm thinking Oh my god, is this gonna be teams? You know I'm the strongest one here by far, so that means I get first crack. Uh, who died and made you king around here? Uh, what's a skinny twerp like you gonna do to me? Come on now. Come on now, you guys are nuts, man. Are you forgetting about me and Magar here? You ain't got the history in Metro City to be calling the shots like yeah, you're something. Am I right? We're VIP status around these parts. You feel me? Pfftahaha. Quit it. You're looking at someone blessed with the skills to make it in the original Pow Pow. You ain't got nothing on my devotion to Terry. We love him. No, we love him. I'm working my freaking butt off so I can get closer to fires, uh, fighters I admire. That is very Andy coded. I don't know what VIP status means around this dump, but you guys don't look so tough. What? Hey, you talking crap about Metro City? My Metro City? Yeah. We grew up on these streets. We out here is trying to survive every day. It's rough. I'd love to see you try. This is going to be teams. The King of KOF style! What? Oh my god! This is so awesome. Wait, go up against other teams? Wait, am I controlling Thrasher? Yes! I don't know Thrasher! I, I don't know his movement. What? It, it, it's not modern controls? And I can't drive impact. Yeah, I, I maybe they, they just don't have animations for that for him. Weird. Fuck. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Andy's using uh, Kimberly's moveset. What is this punch? It's kind of modern controls? I don't know, it's weird. Like, certain buttons don't do anything. Oh. That's kind of a special. Like, you fight uh, Thrasher in World Tour mode, but I don't think... I don't remember if you ever control him. I don't think so. But yeah, we got one point. One point on the board. Next up, Mar Marilyn. Just uses Cammy's moveset, which uh, makes total sense for, for Blue Mary. Oh my god, and the team members uh, stay behind in the background. There's me! There's Magar! Just doing nothing. Uh. I think I threw a bottle or something earlier. Something happened. How do I even do that? Very mysterious. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I did like half damage on. Did she regain health? She does. KOF style. 
Oh my god, Rudra, he like is Dalsim. Ugh. Okay. I don't even know. I don't think I've picked Dalsim uh, uh, outside one training mode session. Alright, Yoga Fire. Okay. Sure. What? That's different. And she can't seem to handle it. Look at Terry just watching it all. He's just like, yes, yes, fight for me, peasants. Who will win my love? This is literally what we're fighting for. We're fighting for the love of Terry. Oh, he's into it. Terry is. He's like, yeah, 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 you know, I like it. I like it. More blood. Blood for the blood god. Terry's just a corn. Uh, okay. So they gave uh, his uh, Rashid his move style, which makes sense. Yep. Yep. That's Rashid. All right. I think George Azuma. George Azuma. Amazing. I, I, I don't know who, who specifically localizes or, or, you know, just does the main writing for World Tour Mode, but a lot of it made me laugh uh, doing the uh, base World Tour Mode, and all of, this, all of this referential material and names is uh, quite amazing as well. So I don't know who actually does that at Calcom. I'd, I'd love to, like, just pal around and be like, dude, you're awesome, <laughs> you know? Fuck. He's not messing around either. Does he have a level? 45? Not too bad. Ugh. Yep. Okay. Still got a little bit to go. It's all up to Magar. I don't know what happens if we lose this. I hope we don't have to do the whole thing again. That should be it. But yeah. Cool. Okay. So, so I want a date with Terry, right? I mean, I assume that's what it means. Why wouldn't it? That's what I would have expected. I swear I won't live in a town that robs people of their rights to date Terry Bogard. <laughs> Looks like it's the Mad Gear rules this place, huh? What the hell you want? What are you talking about? Oh yeah, Rudra's not actually part of the Mad Gear. It's part of the yeah, the Crows. We really like the movies, not the recent remake, though. We discount that. Actually, we only really like the first movie. <gasps> Guys like you are hella whack, you know? Fair enough. I I know you picked the Magyars over those bird brains. Uh, you you don't get Magar involved in your poverty butt business. Poverty butt business. Maybe the dialogue is not a perfect, but poverty butt. How about we settle things right here, right now? Good idea, you're on. Well, I don't gotta fight, do I? I make things more interesting. Triple threat fight. Last fighter standing is the winner. Hey, fuck Fiddy. Why did you tell me to fuck me for? Why me? Okay, I'm not even controlling this. They're just fighting. Yeah, you can throw wrenches and shit. Okay, this is really weird. So I thought it was going to be a three-way fight where we're all in the same screen and we can all hit each other at the same time. That'd be cool. This isn't, this isn't a three-way. It's okay as long as it's in a three-way. Okay. Kind of want Dem to win. Uh, but we're just fine. I thought it was a decent addition. I wish they had the Skull Cross gang from uh, Final Fight 3 in there. The timeline would still work out. Yeah, please tell me it's only one round. Okay. Booyah, you're next. Booyah Kasha. I would be surprised if they start saying that. All right, so assuming I just need to beat him. Then can I go on the date with Terry? Terry's like getting bored and we see that he's leaving. We're like, no, don't come back! You're my only reason to live. Seeing the, the girl in the in the dress behind Terry 
And you think she'd have some like classy shit there, like I don't know, champagne or like whatever. No, she got big old dumb American hot dog on there. And you know Terry is just sweating a little because he's like, I really want that. I really want that in my body. He did so bad. Uh, 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 uh. Alright. Yeah, fucking kicked his ass. Alright, I'm getting, getting used to the modern controls. God, this ain't over. Wait, what? Why? Dude, you lost! What? Did... <laughs> Fuck! My god! Why? No, that's not how it works! He beat you. I don't need to beat you. I mean, it's un it's it's unfair, I guess, for for Rudra. He had to fight two in a row. Again, the, the the best way to have solved this stuff, all three of us in the ring at the same time. The game supports that. The game supports you fighting against like a bunch of enemies. Uh, eraser. So so. Once I learn Terry's moves, I'm going to be able to say cool shit like Crack Shoot and Rising Taco. That's going to be... So every time they add a new master, right, they have to have them be able to say all these moves names. So they bring all the voice actors that do all the different voices for um, your avatars. It's an incredible amount of work. Because the last time I did World Tour mode with a character, I think, was like Aki. I didn't do it with Ed, and I didn't do it with Akuma. Finally! Hella nice. Hella nice. I guess you didn't know Magar would come out on top. Yeah, I'm, I'm a massive top. Can't complain, though. You won fair and square. Eh, that's all things. You're repping us. <laughs> Show that big shot fighter in the, the Metro City. Uh, ain't nothing to fuck with. All right, I'm going. Come on, Rudra. He doesn't follow you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What the hell do you think? You can boss me around? But yeah, I'm coming. Finally, my date can begin! There we go. Fan made from bamboo and paper. Someone might like this. I gotta keep that in case that's a gift for my shoes! Canvas shoes! I don't know about that fan. I don't I don't know if I'd want to give that to Terry because I wouldn't think. Oh my god, here's all the three of these dorks. Joe Gashi, what can you say about him? The Japanese man became a Muay Thai cha champion. He's undefeated and gives hope to all those poor, uprooted, and orphaned kids. Oh, I gotta do it for the kids. That strength, that passion. Okay. So they're just gonna talk about their, 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 who they stand. And he's about 5'7", weighs 135 pounds, and constantly bungles my. How does that happen? Yeah. Yeah, he did it all to surpass his brother, Terry. I wonder who will come out on top now. I'm pretty sure we know the answer to that. I'm pretty sure. Hey. hey, the three of us won a qualifying round in another city, which is why we're here today. Another Was that city south down? I took down every other Blueberry fan to do it. I'm not sharing my fandom with anybody. You're That's toxic, girl. Just letting you know, girly pop. That's not great. Oh, my God. <laughs> Always lose. Poor Lao. What is he doing? Hear me out. Always lose. I figured that since Terry beat me, I just stay like this. This is good. Huh, you want to fight me? Hell yeah, dog. Oh, why the hell not? Oh shit, always lose. Damn, man. So the thing with like uh, City of the Wolves right now, right, is that it's very a direct sequel to Mark of the Wolves. So they're doing all the right things in terms of storylines and not dropping things and, and wanting to continue it, which is all great. But you still lose the, the, the classic Fatal Fury stuff from like the, the start and the original trilogy and then the real bout stuff. So it's nice that this is like filling in those. <laughs> sure, bruh, bruh. All right, Terry, what you got? Yeah. Ah, you again. Yeah, you looking to butt heads? Normally, I'd be up for I'd, I'd, yeah. I can butt butts, whatever. I feel like it's not fair that you fight just me. I see that fire in your eyes. You want to get stronger, am I right? 
Well, you picked the best place to stop by. Everyone this joint is just like you. And now that you're here, you ought to see how we train. If you ever want to fight me again, let me know. But fair warning, I play for keeps around here. So what do you say, rookie? Enroll. Hell yeah. Do I have to pay you anything? Okay, we can just... We got, we got, we got Power Wave. We got, we got Burn Knuckle. So yeah, let's just like set that up right now. All right, I'm all set up, Terry. What are we, what are we doing? Yeah. I hit up fast food a lot <laughs> during my trips. It's quick and easy to get, which is a big plus. Burgers, sandwiches, hot dogs. I am basically Dean Winchester. Wow. I'm not a picky eater, but if you ask me what I'd go with on any given day, pizza? No, club sandwich. I like them big and juicy. The beans and rice don't miss me. Okay. You got anything else? Hmm? Wondering if maintain my hair is a pain in the butt? Not really. I don't do anything to it. It's been this gross forever. Now that you mention it, maybe I should change things up. Cut it real short. Do something crazy. Got a pretty nice do too. Not really. I just have like create an avatar do. It's not the best. Oh, you're giving me something? Ooh, yeah, what can we give him? The canvas shoes! Come on. It's gotta be his. These are some nice kicks. Wonder if they'll fit. I wear through pairs like crazy, so I can always do with more. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Nice. Five, so yeah. Uh, the way that stuff works is that there's like a mega gift, and then there's like one other gift that they like in general, but it's not as much. Maybe little, but there's nothing he can do. He watches all my matches and cheers me on. His little buddy? It's not gonna be that fucking monkey, is it? He's got great instincts, too. He even knows his way around places he's never exactly. been before. Is he talking about Andy? And as a bonus, he even brings me... He even managed to copy one of my moves. He was yeah. wild. I remember all of that when I saw you practice. <laughs> it's a fucking monkey! Uki! Uki the monkey! He's not here. He's at home. Okay, bye. Oh my god, I wonder why you reminded me of him. I guess you both just got that lovable air about you, haha. -ha. But yeah, we, basically we have, uh, for those that don't know World Tour Mode, for every master, every character in the game essentially, you have your bond meter, which yeah. is about giving them gifts and like talking to them and stuff. Then you have your like style mastery meter, and they're, they're both two different meters you fill up. What's up? Uh, I'm guessing you fought in a bunch of crazy places yourself, huh? Yeah. All right, let's fight Joe again. I think I probably have to level up uh, Terry's style now that I've acquired it. Because, yeah, you just need to, like, equip their style and just beat characters with it. If I do have to do a bunch of grinding, don't worry. I'll just I'll just uh, have that cut out of the video. The power of editing will save this. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, I have, like, no experience fighting Rashid in this. Hey, I got his hot pants. That's a lot of hot pants. Hey, Terry already has a new interaction. Oh. See how this bad girl fits you? Don't worry, you'll get used to her soon enough. What are you talking about? Oh, oh shit! I am okay. Buster Roll seems like it's like really, really useful in this. Like you can tag it on to a lot of extra moves towards the end, so. Do I play games? Yeah, ever since I was a kid. Uh, even now, before a fight, I'll get some time to play. I must like games a lot. That's right. look, at, look at that fucking stack of hot dogs. That's right. Single player, multiplayer, love it all. Not live service, though. Not a fan. Well, come on. Nothing beats having a good old-fashioned fight. All right. You want to go? Go where? You and your jokes. I like that. I mean, let's do some sparring. Hell yeah. Yeah, he loves it. Let's get it on now. All right, cool. Got his music and everything. Nope. Oh. Oh. Fuck, he's got more moves than I than I do. Well, me, yeah, he has more Terry moves. Like, I only got um, uh, Burn Knuckle and Power Wave. And Buster Wolf, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, gotta, gotta put uh, my Null's Throw on there, just in case. It served me... Oh, shit! It served me pretty well in the, the base world tour mode. Oh! There you go. 
So you might give me another move after this. I think that's oh, that's kind of what happens when you when you ever you spar with your master, because I think like when you beat them, um, hopefully I'll beat them. Like, and it's two rounds too. Unlike most fights in the game, I just won, which is always a smart choice. But if I just got Buster Wolf, I I'm not gonna get another super. Ooh. Um. I'm assuming I'll get a uh, special move. I really want Rising Taco, obviously. So I'm gonna get any DP, that's the one I want. Do not isolate, that's, that's, that's that sound code, please. So I'm gonna get any DP, that's the one I want. Oh! Nice. No way! Woo! That's the right stuff, baby. Love the way you turned it on there. Yay, he praised me. I guess we'll go to Metro City back. It's crazy, we need to take a fucking airplane there. Wait, what? Oh, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Uh, I'm kind of like dying, but sure. Thumbs up. Oh, you run into any strong fighters or find a good place to eat or something? Give him the deets next time I see you, okay? China line is cool, but give... Whoa, look at that logo! Fucking cook with that. All right, Alice. Let's do this. I have to level up Terry's style a little bit more. Ah! Oh, yeah, I forgot she has uh, chun Li's style. So, fortunately, when you're when you're doing this stuff and you're fighting uh, opponents that have a certain style, you're leveling up that uh, opponent's style as well. Like, you're leveling up chun Li's interactions. So I'm unlocking other stuff as I'm doing this. So I can go back to Chun-Li and have new conversations with her. Yeah, look, I just uh, uh, mastered Chun-Li. Not mastered Chun-Li, but leveled her up. All right, back to Pow Pow Cafe 6. Didn't one of the Pow Pow Cafes get annihilated when the satellite destroyed, destroyed Southtown? <laughs> Did that count? Did that one count? I guess it counted. Hey, dorks. I also hate Terry. Well, then. Now, here's the next one. Nice. Next move for you to learn. Make sure to give it a whirl. Crack shoot! Um, from what I saw from the gameplay stuff, crack shoot seems like really good. It's like it's very quick. I guess maybe cannon spike I can take off. Does does the move work? No, can't use it. Well, yeah, that takes that away. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Ready to show me what you got? Sorry with your master. Yep. Nice. Put him up. I'm the legendary wolf. I'm always hungry. I'm like every anime protagonist from the early 90s you could think of. Or am I mostly concerned with meals? I'm a regular Akira from Virtua Fighter. Oh, shit. Oh. Fighting Terry with Terry's style, but you're not Terry is weird. I, it's not bad weird, it's good weird. Uh. I just like I have this random flourish, this ballerina-esque throw, and Terry's like, whoa, that's interesting. I should incorporate that into my move style. Jeff Bogard, my adopted dad would love it. Sometimes you just gotta throw in a random ballerina move. Never let them know your next move, Terry. I don't know why Jeff sounds like Terry. <laughs> That'd be weird. Yo, oh, fuck! Yeah, I don't have power geyser yet. I don't know how those that that move is gonna work with modern control scheme. Maybe you can't do it. Nah, they wouldn't take that functionality That's away. The That's the good stuff. You got some firepower. I like it. Looks like all that teachings paid off. Has it? I don't know. Yeah. What? That's right. You know, one time. Oh shit, his name was Jeff Bogard. It's happening. I can't believe it. We learned Akio Kusekin style from Tung Furu. Like a lot of martial artists, you wanted to test how strong he really was. Look at this Shinkiro art. But... But it's against Tung Fu Ru's rules to practice Hakiyoku Seiken outside of the dojo. 
In emergencies, you weren't supposed to use any of the techniques you had learned. You didn't give a style a specific name. It's just Jeff style. Uh, I was adopted, so Jeff wasn't my real father, but he trained me well when I was a kid. All that still lives inside me. This is so awesome. I may have tweaked stuff here and there to fit my own style. That was super cool. What else you got, Terry? You got that look people get when they want to ask about personal stuff. Uh, am I wrong? If you're curious about me, you can try talking to my fans that are around here. Though they have a habit of exaggerating some details. I have a habit of doing that. Oh shit, the legend of the wolf. What's this? Terry took you as a student. That's so freaking rad. Fight me. Dang, that stung. Well, thanks for the fight. Let me tell you a story. Ahem. The story of T Terrence and Joe Agashi's fiery friendship all started in Southdown. That's where they both joined the King of Fighters tournament. Joe joined to prove his strength. Terry for revenge. No reasons for joining, but they were still bros. Mutai champion and a man who had spent years training. And of course, they eventually had to face each other. Bet they're surprised how strong the other guy was. Ever since the tournament, if I recall from the anime, Joe takes Terry back to his hotel room and they just start drinking. Joe, on the other hand, always complains, but I think deep down he recognizes him as a rival. Hot dang, what a story! Haha, <laughs> what a story, George. Hey! Hey! Uh, as soon as you're friends with him, I can tell you anything you want. Anything! Like, let's see. You ever heard about Terry's relationship with Blue Mary? Oh, girl, dish it. You ask me, I think that's the shared pain of losing loved ones to the same man that's brought them closer. Everyone says they're just drinking buddies, but you can't fool my nose. Is that just a romantic people close to their life got killed and they want revenge? Yeah. Love that. Last thing I want to do is screw up whatever's going on between them. Here, this will stop any loose lips. A Terry Bogard emote. Here, I gave you Terry Bogard's emote. Like, what? Oh, yeah. Come on, tell them the truth. Terry and I look like brothers, right? <sighs> yeah, sure. I knew it. I spent a lot of time on my cosplay. It's only natural. I'm a dead ringer for Andy Bogard, and I'm practically a Trevor Trove of knowledge when it comes to Terry Bogard. His birthday is on March 15th, he's 6 0, and his blood type is O. That's fucked up that you know his blood type. Hey, he hates slugs. And get this, he's never lost a fight, uh, lost a fight to little Andy. <laughs> little Andy. <laughs> little bitch. Actually, it's probably better for you to see it yourself. You want to get a taste of legend that is Terry, you definitely should play the Fatal Fury series in stores now. Get Mark of the Wolves on Steam and PS4. Oh, what? Uh, hobbies other than fighting? I'm a big fan of video games. As for sports, like basketball. Baller for life. Whoa! Let's go! Look, that's his new, that's his, gonna be his third costume. I have a buddy named Duck King. He's a wild dancer. That is absolutely going to be his third costume. Because they do this for every master inside uh, in World Tour mode. Every now and then we'll have a pickup game. Just one-on-one. -on -one. Wolf versus Duck. When it comes to fighting, I've got the edge. But on the courts, we're on equal footing. Oh, I like that. There's a lot of back and forth. Unlike when we fight, it's a lot of fun. You said you had a buddy that's a fan of basketball, didn't you? I do. Sean? Terry, no lane here. Oh, there it is. What do you mean the rules are different? What else? As long as I'm having fun. I don't know, why is Street Fighter constrained in one dimension? King of Fighters going 3D? I don't know what you're talking about. You gotta go three or four dimensions via the lane system. Oh, I got Bernie Knuckle? Nice. I do have that as a master action. I don't think I can do it here, though. Uh. Uh, oh, 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 hey, Street Fighter sucks. <laughs> you guys don't know the lane system. Why do I fight? Yeah, that's a question I get a lot. For me, there was one person that kickstarted everything. Geese. Oh! He was the boss of the underworld. He uses an ancient form of martial arts. And a man who murdered my father. Ate him so much! <laughs> Both geese and my father Jeff studied under Tung Furu. God damn! 
My father kept something and got all the sacred scrolls. Geese killed him in order to steal the fucking scrolls. After losing my dad, my brother and I st started training. We wanted to be ready to take down the man who did this to us whenever the chance presented right. itself. Your brother and I carried that fury within us. But we didn't let it consume us completely. Now when I fight, I'm trying to find the true source of strength. And I can't keep count of the number of important friends I've made. Now fight is what makes me feel alive. Yo! All right. Um, probably have to go back to Beat Square. Holy shit. Is this really him? It says Joe. That's really him. That's the Joe that appears in, in Terry's stage at Pow Pow when you're, when you're fighting normally, like in just uh, multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, no lane. Where's like, whoa, that guy can't handle my aura. Yo. Hey, yo, haven't we met somewhere before? <laughs> Is uh, what I want to say to the freaking bozo is apparently impersonating me. If you spawn him around these parts, take a picture of him and let me know where he's, where he's, let me know where he's at. We'll roll up on him. There's no one, other, there's no one like me but me. Oh shit. We got it. We got to kick that guy's ass, or Joe's gonna kick his ass, and I'll snitch on him, I guess. Whoa! Let's go! Oh! There he is. There's that. So look at them. They're just praising Terry. Licking his not boots. Licking his shoes. Oh yeah. You sometimes have to do this in World Tour. I forgot. There he is. Some bitch. Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now we have to take a flight back two blocks. <laughs> back to foul foul. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be this is gonna be real thick and juicy. Oh, Kinda man. like Joe. What the hell? This is the guy who's been duping everybody? Wait a sec, there's an imposter blue Mary here too! They're hanging out with Pow Pow Cafe 6. Fuck, we're gonna roll up on it. Let's do it. Find the tough Lonnie with a bob cut around here. She's literally right behind us. Oh, shit. Come on. What's that? I have an imposter. <gasps> it's her. Seriously, do you think just anyone could pull off my look? No chance. By the by, I'm guessing you met my friend Joe, right? Uh, what's your take on him? Do you think he stands out a little bit too much? Not in Fight World, which is where we're literally in. I have to buy him clothes? Are you insane? Acquire standard t-shirt or business casual. All right, dripping style. I have to buy clothes for Joe. Uh, standard t-shirt. Does that count? Casual t-shirt? Business casual. There you go. That's that's going to look terrible on, on him. Hmm, you know, I like your sense of style. That'll do the trick, thanks. Now let's head over to Pow Pow Cafe. Give Joe clothes. We're so tired of his of his stank. <laughs> he just menacingly just standing there. Yeah. Alright, give those clothes you bought to Joe. Alright, what's gonna happen? Huh? Yeah. Huh? What are you got nani? Blue Mary told you, come on, everyone's got a sense of my style. Wanna give you these clothes to the imposter that's running around. So, yo, know, now, now we won't be confused about which one to shoot. Now it's time for me to take care of business. Oh my God, it's like a whole ass cutscene. Yeah. What's the big deal? Personating me. No. Oh, fuck. My scam is over. I see. S sorry, Goldman. I wasn't trying to do anything bad. I just, because you're freaking cool. You're like the best fighter ever. You got strength, passion, and heart. Unlike Andy. What? I see, you definitely have an eye for what makes a cool, strong, and amazing fighter. Ah, that's right. Man, how could anyone not understand the greatness of Joe Agashi? You got it all, man. You got those sharp as knives strikes, the thunderous kicks, and of course, my favorite, the Hurricanapa! You moved to freaking Thailand to learn Muay Thai and ended up being the champion. You like fried alligator. Who doesn't? Okay, okay. You pull it back, dude. I made up my mind. I'm officially taking you under my wing. 
You're gonna make that fire inside you a blaze so hot no one's gonna be able to look away. Oh shit! Before that, we gotta do something about your wardrobe, man. She's like, that fucking failed and blew up in my face. I'm gonna get blamed for this. I didn't do nothing wrong, though. I fucking crushed it. Yo, when am I taking you under my wing? Uh, but Terry's here, and you might just, like, learn from him. That might be better. It is the point of, of what we're doing today. If you really want me to, I guess I'll teach you something? What? You just learn hur Hurricane Upper. Oh, even if I teach you, it doesn't mean you'll be able to perform it. It's just straight up the move. It's not like based on Rashid, and you can OD it? So Capcom's just putting SNK moves or even from Terry. What do I usually do? Work? I'm a freelancer of sorts. Security, intel, jobs. So you're basically a golden boy. You know? Uh -huh. But don't worry, I'm not here to make any noise. I'm taking a break from work cases right now. Actually, Erica's Pow Pow opened up this new location. I wouldn't miss that for the world. I mean, fair enough. When it comes to talented female fighters, Boomer has got to be the top of the list. She comes from a lineage of martial artists and showed promise. And she's distantly related to the greatest fighter of all time, Kevin Ryan. Never forget. All right. So Terry's like, I'm not talking right. about this mess. This is crazy. I never thought I'd get to be trained by Joe Gashi himself. But for my first act as apprentice, I'll show you his world-renowned pose. Legs like this. Arms like this. And it's going to be like the dumbest pose you've ever seen. All right, burn this into your mind. Sear it into your mind palace. All right, how about this? Uh, Joe Gashi. Uh. Yo. Oh, he loves it. Oh. Oda, oda. Pull my pants down. That's classic Joe. Do you like that? The headband, a present from my grandma. She said it's, uh, so I never forget the spirit of Japan. What she gave it to me, I don't know what she meant. I, I was like, yeah, whatever, Grandma, let's get you to bed. Uh, kids with no family, I realized that I could go back to the country by giving the kids the hope through Mutai. I think that's what good old Grandma meant by the spirit of Japan. That's nice. That's, that's good for you. Oh, I can get the Terry shoes again. All right, fight him. We'll get the shoes. We'll give Terry another pair of shoes. And he's like, thanks for this burden. You already gave me an extra pair, so he doesn't... But that's what we got to do. For people to like you, you got to burden them with extra gifts that he can't possibly take with him in his, like, rucksack or whatever. His bandle. Bendle? Whatever. The thing that hobos have. Ugh. All right, all right. You have to murder Andres. That should be enough. So, yeah, you have to OD him with a um, special. That's how we get that. You know, don't, don't, please don't give me another one. No, no. I know I said I can always do with more, but you don't. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> Five up. Nice. We're like more than halfway there, I think. What else you got? I was always super pumped whenever my dad would teach me a new move when I was a kid. This one's called the Rising Tackle, Baby Terry. Nice. Power Geyser. So, yeah, how am I going to do those other motions on, on, on modern controls? Because you have to, like, do the motion twice. I guess I'll figure it out. So, yeah. Uh, Terry. There you go. Cool. Shopkeeper has a mission. What? Huh? Hey, buddy, did you see it? There's some strange-looking dog. <laughs> it's lost. I just can't leave my shop. Uh, there's people to be fed. It can't be Blue Mary's dog. Antoine? What? <gasps> it is. Hey, Kenny, what's up? That's Kenny, everybody. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> uh, give it... it uh, Blank, give it a flight ticket. <laughs> give it a Blanca chun. Why not? It's like a chew toy. Uh, yeah, woof woof. Grr, woof. He eats it. He doesn't like the Blanca chun. All right, I give it a flight ticket. <laughs> 
Y ya, pues, bueno, <laughs> Wait, he just got on a plane? Oh, never forget the awesome street art. The only one that's really missing there is Power Stone, but I don't think Capcom considers it, like, that's why it's missing. Because it's more of, like, a party game. Like, they didn't consider it part of their, like, their fighting series, maybe. That's the only guess I can think of. They're wrong, by the way. Capcom's wrong on that. So did, did Antoine show up here? Hello? Oh! Yes! Blue Mary had... Anton! Sorry. I thought I left you at home, but I guess you got on a plane. So <laughs> I figured you'd follow me. You're the best, but yes, you are so good. Fucking awesome. You saw my Anton at Beat Square looking lost. So you're the one that gave him the flight ticket. I appreciate a lot. Now what can I give you in return? Any interest in one of my... Yes! Spiral arrow! Vertical arrow. That's just as good. Vertical arrow. Sounds cool. Hell yeah. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it quick. Uh, after the normal version hits, perform another input to transition into Snatcher. Nice. His invincible guns jumping attacks. Like, I it, it made sense that Mary and Joe have these models that, that were, like, in this stage always. Um, that they would reuse those models and put them in World Tour. Like, why not? But I never thought in a million years you get moves based on them. Because that's a brand new move. Uh, vertical arrow. That's not like a Street Fighter 6 move that looks like it. They they animated that specifically for this. That's awesome. You know. I imagine they just put Genocide Cutter in there. Terry's like, yeah, I use Genocide Cutter now. What of it? You know. <laughs> Ooh. When did I pick this up? This is another KOF. Knights of Fantasia. You know, many, how many hours are logged playing this in the arcade? I still have the muscle memory and everything. How about it? You up for a match? <laughs> Thanks for the shot of nostalgia. 40! That was his special gift! He likes me a lot, you guys. I once caught a blue marlin trolling in the ocean. Oh my god, it is true. He is a fisherman. He's a total beast, more than a thousand pounds. Add some beastly power. <laughs> Went beast mode. I had to be stronger than some of the best fighters I've ever fought. Uh, when you think about the old days and the fishermen uh, hooking those things on their little boats. Those are the real fighters. No, that's the real fight. Uh, another emote, sure, okay. Uh, I may travel around a bunch, but South Town is the place that I call home. It's a great spot, especially in the summer. The beaches are something else. Of course, that means that we don't get any snow when winter comes around. Oh, boo oh my God! Me and some buds took a trip one time to try to do actual wintry winter. Look at Shinkiro getting to draw SNK characters just hanging out. Yes. Fucking classic. All the regulars from the usual spot: Joe, oh. Mary, and there's my. You know, other characters. There is a, he didn't mention Andy or Mai. Everyone en ended up being pretty good on the ski slopes. Mary was doing flips and shit. Man. Doing flips and shit! When we got back to Southtown, we went up to our usual spot and talked about how much shit we hated on the cold. Yeah, same bro. Having friends in a place called home, that's, that's what matters. Oh my god. That was amazing. That was amazing! It's a shame that, like, you know, some uh, fighting game enthusiasts out there will miss cool stuff like that. <coughs> Isn't that right, boy? Oh, I got another message from Terry. I got something. So I was just a while thinking I was out. You're from Metro City, right? It's a lot like Southtown. Uh, we got a Chinatown, too. And we got a carrier, Doctor of the Poor. We got lots of stuff. Don't you, don't you get it, Metro City? It's over. You lose. Both places got some great pizza. Good places to chill and eat. Yeah, they're like Terry eats a sour pizza in front of in front of Metro City people. And his eyes are watering. The Jeepers! Here's a wild one. I spotted some money under a vending machine, but when I bent down to look and pick it up, there were tons of 
I hate those things. I almost threw up. You know anyone like me? Big boys are scared of small things. I have a master who hates spiders. That being Ryu. See what I mean? No matter how strong you get, there are always little fucking bugs that you hate. Cause you gotta live with the little creeps. All I can do is pray. <laughs> Amazing. Ooh. Ooh. Hey Terry, here's a big. Just, oh, throw slugs in his face. <laughs> we'll be keeping up with your training regiment. I keep it up. Not nice to hear it. May not be exciting because this is the best exciting. way, right? My little brother is real shit. I could probably do with being a little better with that myself, haha. -ha. But anyway, the most important thing <laughs> is that you have your own face. Do things your way, at your speed. That's how I operate. Yeah. Just, uh, just Perry, the uh, Perry, just Terry help you don't have a bunch of slugs in your hot dog. It's always good to have uh, cool buddies uh, traveling here. When you get back home, the same crew is always good to there to be greet me. What about you? Oh yeah, I got oh uh, that what's his face uh, Bosch von Rauschenberg from the main uh, World Tour mode. Uh, Bosch or whatever his name was. All right, let's throw some more canvas shoes at him. Oh no, please God no! Don't give no. Ninety five, five more points. You just have to give him five more gifts. You just throw this shit at him. Take this junk disc. This is a video game. Red Elevator? That's re the Resident Evil game that um, Luke likes. Um, Take the luxury heat pack. He doesn't understand what it is. Two more. We in there. Uh, no, not the fan. Nato. It's gross. It looks like slugs. You'll love it. All right. One more. We're good. What should we give him? Rubber duckies. Sure. Why not? No, I don't understand what rubber duckies are. Yes! We in there. What's up? Strength, huh? Have you ever thought about uh, what's at the end of the road for you? <laughs> eh, I'm the same as you. Never was one to think things through too much. But lately, I've been thinking. The reality is, in reality, I've got a little one I've been looking after. A whole lot happened and I ended up taking a kid who was orphaned. Don't misunderstand. I'm not doing anything special or anything. Just bring him along on my trip sometimes and teach him a bit. Like, teach him rising taco. And he's a much better cook now than I... Who are you talking about? Is it Stone Howard? Oh. I hope he can follow his own path and get even further in life. Like, like it is such a tragedy. Max just is going to completely miss his favorite Fatal Fury character. Fuck you. Because he doesn't want to play a world tour. No! Oh! New Shikiro Art of Rock! Oh, I'm wiping away tears. Oh my god. That... That was what you get for getting 100% bond. An argument with my bro Andy the other day. Nothing serious for fighting over dumb stuff, but whenever that happens, next time we meet, we always throw down and fight. Then as soon as we're done, we just start laughing. It always happens, lol. Uh, what? I guess we're just good like that? Who, me and Andy? Or you and Andy? What do you mean? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? Ha <laughs> that's right. My brother Andy never holds back. He just says whatever's on his mind. And he fights with his heart on his sleeve. And not much else. <laughs> Oh, hey, what everyone, what's up? Cool, we're about to do it. I can talk to Terry one more time. Anton is an English pointer, breed of hunted dog known for their intelligence. We child together and he watches my fights. He's the best. I didn't expect him to be clever enough to find his way to Metro City. I didn't expect anyone to give him a plane ticket and he just uses it. All right. You know what? I think it might be time for a fight. Let's see how much you've improved. All right. Come on, bring me some heat. All right. I mean, I have power geyser. I got all types of. Sh oh fuck! I don't have rising tackle still though. Still a vertical arrow. Ah! 
So yeah, we don't have Rising Tackle and we don't have uh, Rising Fang, his uh, level three. So we are missing that. Oh, good read, good read. And I don't have Power Charge either. That move seems really good in this too. No. Oh. All right. Buster Wolf. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh. Everyone's like devastated in this club because everyone here is like you know subscribed to the Church of Terence, Terence B, Terence Bodiggity, and they're just like, oh my God, this rando. A oh, horrible idiot Magar is just like clowning on him like super hard. Oh. Like he's getting uh, he's getting some good hits in though. Uh, uh. No! Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. He countered that. He countered that strong style. Uh. I'll take it. I'll take it. Cool. I must get a move now. That was something wicked. Might have to go all out next time we face off. Oh. No, I didn't get anything. Oh, hold on. There's still more interactions with him. That's what you got? Stuff. You're doing good. So I'm thinking it's time to teach you something new and fancy. Use it well. Rising Taco. I still love that Capcom had to have deep conversations with SNK discussing the rising tackle only. And they're like, what the fuck is this? SNK is like, I don't know. I'm ready to fight with you whenever you need. Oh, he can be like my master to jump down or whatever. I don't think I really need those anymore, though, to be fair. What else you got? You're also on a journey for strength, right? Tell me, how's it been? I met, I met so many creepos. Those chance encounters are as spiced any good journey, if you ask me. I've had my share during my travels. So I'm always hoping to come across some new person that's crazy strong, using moves I've never seen before. Which I guess means both you and I are after the same thing, huh? Uh, those moments are what makes all the traveling worth it. Am I right? Sure. That's fine. In reality, I know I don't think I've ever had a real job. It's hard to settle down for a long-term gig when you're traveling all year long. You've had a couple of jo oh, okay odd jobs. You worked, you worked at a dock. That's all I know, really. It's the same for you, right? I heard you make a mean pizza. Wow. Do I? At Hado Pizza, I do terribly. I fucking eat all of everything before I get get to sell it. So that's not I, great. I fought a lot of tough people in my time. Talk about Krauser. There have been times when I've doubted that anyone stronger could exist. But life's always ready to throw you a curveball if you get my drift. Going to Metro City, just giving me more evidence of that. But you don't even get to meet, like, Cody or Hagar yet. That sucks. That's like a missed opportunity. Okay. So, I maxed out Bond, but I still need to level up um, uh, his fighting style. Because that's a separate menu altogether. Just going to have to grind that for a little bit. Um, and once we get that, then I think we'll get his final mission. Whatever that may be. Oh, who are you? I don't know. Gura and Shura? Gura and San? What the? Fucking moves are these? What the hell is this? They didn't have a master. I don't think they did. Why is he dressed up like you? Oh. This is some weird ass fighting style. I don't know if I've seen it before like, what is that is is there is it Aki style and I'm just not used to it he, he beat me I think I had, I think I went in this fight with low HP to be fair there you go rising tackle putting in the work oh all right we got him who the hell are these guys? They're definitely unique NPCs. Gura. Gura and San. Hiya. Never had the comments to myself, but that changed when I learned about Geese's bodyguards! 
Is this supposed to be Ripper and Hopper? Now I can take on anyone and feel comfortable, even if the flash ain't loud like Ruger was. But I did lose, so I guess I should work a bit on the being strong thing. Yeah, Who the... What a shame. For you, I mean. Geese only had two elite bodyguards. It is. It's too late for you to join the club. We're already here. There's nothing you can do about it. We Who stands Geese Howard, like, realistically in this world? And not even stand Geese Howard. Stand his bodyguards. You see that art of when Geese is sitting in the throne and there's just two guys in the back? Oh, those guys are so cool. Not Geese, though. We just like his <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Man, what a pull. What a pull. Yeah. Who's this? Iron Hand? What the? You know that arm wrestling machine at Pow Pow Cafe? It totally... Everyone knows that you have to arm... Oh my god, this is the first dude that's in the arm wrestling game in Fatal Fury 1. He looks like a bad Hulk Hogan. That doesn't work for me, brother, unless it does, dude. Fuck. He's got Zangu style, too. Ugh. Fuck. Ah! Oh! With the body splash. Level 48, so he's not, uh, nothing. This is the most. This is more obscure than Michael Max. They're both from Fatal Fury One, but let's get in the guy from the mini game. That's not even a real fighter. He's just some carny that you that you beat in an art wrestling game. He has the wooden folk carving, which is literally cursed and depletes your vitality. What the fuck is that? Iron Hand. Wow, this takes the cake. I think. I think. But yeah, this has been incredible so far, honestly. The amount of love and attention put in to like all this lore stuff has been... Mwah. Hey, it sounds like you've met all sorts of people during your travels, huh? That's the case. You mean a dude... Oh my... Well. Yep. I imagine if searching for strength, you would cross paths with that guy. I fought him more than a few times. So how about this? Next time you see him... Try sparring him while using my fighting style. That's the other the other location. The dragon versus the wolf. That's the name of this mission. This is the last move I've got for you. Are you okay to use it? Power charge! Yeah, this thing does like crazy wall bounce. And you could do like pretty much anything after it. The wolf versus the dragon. That's so fucking cool. All right, let's see if that works. Hell yeah. Travel all the way to Japan, see Ryu, go all the way back, take another flight. Yeah, you know, just I have a spare 14 hours. Both ways. Oh shit. Uh, should I prepare? I'm gonna have to fight Ryu. And I've mastered, mastered Ryu. Like, he's maxed out and everything. So when you fight Ryu in this mode now, like, he just beasts on you. Like, they they make it like a challenge. You look like you have something to say. Do you? Yes, I certainly do. Oh, my God. Oh, I went in with low health. And this is a one-round thing only. Oh, I'm not beating him. I am not beating him. I went in with low health, and when you've mastered a character like this, uh, like you max out everything, like they're super duper tough after that point. Ah. Oh. Okay, I just have to go in and max out my health and maybe take a buff. Oh, doesn't matter. The way you moved, I feel like I felt that before. I see a greeting from the legendary hungry wolf himself. He certainly knows how to talk. If you could please relay a message. I didn't die, bitch. Use my style and do battle with him. Can I count on you? Fuck. Like, bitches, just take a flight back. He's at Pow Pow Cafe. You can do this. You can do it. All right, so sure you. I can't believe it went, it went here, you know? I expect it with Ken, if anything else, but I think that's in just the arcade mode. And it's like way more simple. 
It's just like, hey, Ken, what's up? Yeah, let's fight. And that's it. Uh, okay. Terry, I got a message for you. Hmm, so you saw him, did you? Yeah, I just took two flights to Japan. Let's see what we had to say then, shall we? Oh, here we go. Oh, no. I forgot when you change styles, it goes back to, like, an old preset. It doesn't just go to Ryu. So all my specials are fucked up. Like, I just have crazy moves from everybody. Oh, my God. So while my normals are Ryu, all my specials and supers are just taken from everybody. This is good. If I, I should have double-checked this. I don't want to lose this fight, Justin. Can I switch it from here? I don't think so. I don't think you can switch style sets uh, in the middle of a match. Yeah, I just got cannon strike. Like, I have stuff from everybody. Ugh. Anyway, I, I think we can still beat him. There you go. I didn't even think it matters. I bet I could have even lost this, and it probably would have been fine. Uh, yep, you definitely learned some stuff from Ryu. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. Spinning pile driver. But uh, it's not that you're bad or anything. But now I have a hankering to fight the real deal. Could you take me to meet him? Yeah, let's just take another 14-hour flight back to Japan. Holy shit. What's going to happen? Is Capcom versus SNK3 happening? I'm starting it, bitch. I'm in it. <gasps> hey, yeah. Uh, it sounds like you remembered me, eh? The strength of your fists is something that's not so easily forgotten, Terry. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Well, I told my buddy here to tell you hello in the only way I know how. But I felt that wouldn't satisfy you. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Like, Magar sucks. What a coincidence. I feel much the same way. Here we fucking go. Am I going to control one of them? Ellipses. All right. Well, we have our mutual friend here to thank for this reunion. What do you say? We let Magar get a bit of experience? No, I don't want to be involved. I just want to watch you two fight. Yeah. Don't, don't. Nice. All right. Okay, Rook, you get your pick. Who's it going to be? What? I, I I just want to watch you guys fight. I'll fight alongside you, Terry. I haven't done that yet. Okay, I'm just going to... No. So the way these things work when you're actually co op it happens once or twice in the main game, is that as long as your team wins, you're fine. I can lose. So I think I'll just let myself get... Yeah. Because I shouldn't be taking this moment away from either of these guys. So I'm just going to roughen them up a little bit. And then let Terry take over. I'm going to have trust in the, trust in the AI that, that trusts in you. I just mean that for, like, fighting game computers. Here we go. All right, Terry with the pokes. All right, drive impact did not work. Feeling things out. Ooh. They confirm. Raw super, but it works. That was taken from my book. Oh! Oh, nice, nice, Terry. Does not capitalize for some reason. Yep. All right, doing some fancy green shit. Are you prying over the electricity? We'll see if it makes use of it. Terry with a life advantage, but it's uh, steadily declining. All right, he's, he's in also in burnout, so he can't OD, so we got some problems here. You better fucking win, Terry. I sacrificed my soul. I sacrificed my soul for you, Drive Impact. Comes up with nothing, yeah! With the OD uh, power wave. Your fists are filled with heart, as always. You too, Ryu. Glad I got a chance to see you again. This is so cool. You and I walk down different paths. And maybe the strength we're both after takes a different form, but... Ah. Ah. Yes, though different, our paths will certainly cross again. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
Exactly. Until next time. Yo, with the handshake, get the fuck out of here, Cyclops. Your days are done. Okay. About time for us to head back. Oh my god, I'm sped. Holy shit. We have to fight a few others before we can actually uh, finalize Terry. Uh, uh. There we go. Couple more fights and we should be good, I think. Uh. This should be enough. Oh my god, there's like a magic pixel. Fight, fight you, you, whatever. Guy that was just cheering on this last fight. Knockout Festival, uh, T.O. I don't know, this guy's 47, Drew? Uh, this should, this should be fine. I like to think this will be enough. Ah, oh, super, who cares at this point? Oh. This better work. Style, rank up! We did it, we did it. Terry, we have to right. talk. Ready to rock and roll? Oh, That's final it. fight. Hey, final fight. I wish I would come back. Anyway. Yeah. Oh. I used a lot of drive meter for that, but I mean, it looked cool. Ah. Oh. Again, good read. Show's over. All right, not too bad. Oh no, the duck king. The duck king chicks are loose. They're 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 running wild behind us. There. Gotcha. No way. So yeah, I'd like to think he'll he'll teach us uh, Rising Fang. Um, and then after that, we get the final animation. We should be good. Maybe a final conversation with him, but. Oh, fuck you. Oh my god, speaking of which. Oh. Oh my god, I'm over. I'm, I'm burnt out too? What did I use that on? What did I use that on? So at least you didn't get the critical. Well, I mean the the critical art version is like even cooler, but ah, ah, damn! I was trying to do super. Yeah, miss high quality whiffs. You don't see whiffs like that anywhere else. Oh my god! Oh fuck the mid air version. Thank goodness. Rising tackle, I'm happy enough with that. I really, I really, I did really want that power guys to connect. I'm sure it does. I was just late. Uh, woo, talk about putting in the work. You're becoming a real top class fighter. What is it about fighting that makes me so happy? <laughs> I thought he was going to say something else, not happy, some other word. I used to think I'd stop once I beat the guy I was chasing down. There's always a new villain. But that didn't happen. Still throwing it down, as you can see. Maybe that's why I'm still on my journey. To find the answer to your question. Oh, still got more. All right. Now then, I do believe it's time for your final Are you test. Right? Are you ready, Buster Wolf? Wait, I just again? Okay. I think it's because I leveled up twice. I leveled up the style thing twice, so uh, I think that's why there's like two sets of things I have to do here. All right, let's try to end this like an even cooler way. Like actually try to connect that. S Fuck. Ugh. Fell for like three throws in a row. Ah. Hey. What's a wolf? Yeah, he hasn't taught me. Ooh. He hasn't taught me rising thing yet, so I get it. Really I mean, I have a level three, but it's like, I don't know, Marisa's or, or uh, I don't know, Luke's or something. Should be enough. Alright. Uh. Uh. 
Yeah, I'm not even sure if that's worth it for the damage. It's 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 good, but it's not great. Ugh. Oh my god! He's got my nose. He's in my head. Oh shit! Oh no, dude! I have to make this work. Absolutely have to. The final fight. Ugh. Uh, here we go. Nice. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, here we go. Uh, not enough. Not enough. Uh, yeah, of course. Finish off with Manel's Menage a Trois or whatever it's called. Ha ha ha. Nice one. You win. I don't think there's anything left to teach you. I'm not your teacher anymore. You're a fellow fighter, just like me. Well, then date me. Absolute mastery. Here we go. Southdown hero. Legendary hungry wolf. Oh my god, see that giant SNK? Fatal Fury, Street Fighter. You'll get to know true strength soon enough. Your adventure is just getting started, rookie. Yo! Yeah, we did it, everybody. We did it. I think we super killed it. All right, what do you got? So the only other thing that happens if you talk to Terry just challenges you to another fight. Uh, tell me more about Terry. Haven't I already told you quite a lot? Heh, <laughs> left you wanting more, did I? Yeah, yeah, no, no, goss, goss, I need it. He's, well, he's exactly how he seems. People find him lovable, but sometimes he's too chill for his own good. He only ever buys the same outfit. She's really concerned about people's outfits. Mary, you functionally wear the same thing every game yourself, so I'm just saying. So Rock and I always worry about his health because of the fast food. Maybe we should take care of himself. What's with that look? Don't get the wrong idea. All right, you're reading way, read way too much into what I'm saying. We're just drinking buddies, I swear. Him and I just get together and drink all night together. Shut up. What's Joe got? Dude, you said you're on a journey to search for strength, right? It's no wonder you arrived at the doorstep of Joe Higashi then. I'll teach you a valuable lesson since it seems like you've got a good eye. You ready? Listen carefully. Ahem. Jump into the fire of the fight! You can't surround yourself with people weaker than you. The road to strength is only through the strong. That's why I decided to enter the King of Fighters tournament in the first place. Uh, that's how I ran into tough fighters like Terry and his brother Andy, I guess. So you need to take the plunge yourself. I'm sorry for the An Andy slander. I'm not, anyway. So I guess that's it. Yeah, you, you fight masters after this point and they're just like, Hey, I want to fight you again. Uh, but, uh, that was absolutely incredible. So the fact that Terry gets his own event and it's completely revolving around him so you don't get distracted with any other stuff is just super, super cool. I'm assuming they'll do the same with my, they'll have another, uh, KOF festival, but, uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this. I certainly fucking did. There's so much in World Tormo when you do any of the master quest lines. You get all that lore, pictures, and stuff. You can get a preview of what their third costume will look like. So thank you uh, for that. Uh, thank you for watching this pretty long video. I know I probably geeked out way more than I should, but let me know what you thought, and until then, stay furious, everybody. One, two, three, four, 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 four